Hi friends, welcome to Mama's YouTube channel. Can you guess why I'm sitting in almost the dark right now? That's right, today we've got another Shine the Light book. And guess what this one is? This one is Secrets of the Apple Tree. And it was written by Karen Brown and Alyssa Nasner. A tree is bustling with life. If you look closely at its trunk, branches, leaves, and fruit, you will find the animals, plants, and fungi living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it to the light to reveal what is hidden in or around the tree. Discover a small world of great surprises. An apple tree is green with leaves in summer. Can you see what it looks like in winter? Hmm, what do you think? What's it gonna look like? <gasps> wow, see there's no more leaves and there's some birds in the tree. Burr. In winter, the branches are bare. One by one, the leaves drift to the ground in fall, but the tree will grow new leaves in spring. Many animals live around the tree. Can you guess who the bird is about to grab? What do you think? Hmm, let's see if you were right. <gasps> you were right, it was worms. There's a bunch of worms in the ground. Slithering, wriggling worms push through the soil around the roots. A tree's roots grow long and deep. The roots soak up water from rain, which helps to keep the tree alive. The wind blows leaves off the tree. Can you see who is resting under this leaf pile? Hmm, who do you think is going to be under there? Okay, let's find out. It was a frog. Is that what you guessed? I would have never guessed that. Surprise! A toad stays cool and unseen in the dark under the leaves. He lives in damp places where there are many slugs, worms, and insects to eat. Branches also fall from the tree to the ground below. Can you find anything growing on this dead branch? Hmm, let's see what we can find. Wow, look what did we see when we put the light back there. I see a bunch of fungi and some leaves. In dark, damp patches on the fallen branch, groups of mushrooms, toadstools, and other fungi grow. The dead wood rots and makes food that they can eat. Something mm -hmm. runs quickly past the dead branch. It scurries behind a stone. Who does this tail belong to? Hmm, what do you think? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a lizard. Look at him. Look, a small scaly lizard rests between the stones. It waits to catch a passing insect, spider, slug, or snail for its dinner. On the other side of the tree, a rabbit hops into a hole in the ground. Where is he disappearing to? Where do you think he's going? Let's find out. Oh, look, he's going down in the ground. And then it looks like there's a tunnel in there. Wow. Thump, thump. Deep down in the ground, rabbits dig nests and tunnels. They build large burrows where many rabbits can live together. A fly whirs up the tree trunk. Something is hiding on the bark. Can you see what it is? Oh, I see an outline of something. Do you see that? I wonder where it could be. Let's get a better look. Oh, it looks like a moth. A moth has settled on the tree. Its wings are the same color as the bark. As long as the moth stays very still, nothing will see it. The fly isn't whirring around now. It seems to be stuck in midair. What's stopping it from flying away? Hmm, well, I see a spider. 
what could have made the fly get stuck that has to do with a spider? Hmm, what do you think? Hmm, that's a really good guess. Let's see if you're right. Oh, did you guess a spider web? You were right. He got stuck in a spider web. It's a trap. The fly has flown into a spider web. Its feet are really stuck in strands of sticky silk. The web is a trap that catches food for the spider. A bird flies through the rustling leaves with a worm in her beak. Who is going to eat the worm? Hmm, who do you think this bird is giving the worm to? Hmm, oh, that's a good guess. Let's see. You were right. It looks like little baby birds in a nest. These hungry chicks will soon gobble up the worm. Tweet, tweet. They hatched from eggs in a nest that their parents built in the tree. Let's look a little closer at the tree. What's this hanging from a branch? Do you know what that is? Let's see what's inside. Wow, it looks like a hive and it has bumblebees inside. Buzz, hundreds of honeybees are busy making wax to build their nest. They also collect sweet nectar from flowers. They store it in their nest to make honey that they can eat. A loud noise has startled the moths from their hiding places. Who is making such a racket? Hmm, who do you think it could be? Oh, that's a really good guess. That's what I was thinking too. It looks like a woodpecker. Rat-a-tat-tat, tap-tap-tapping -tap, away at the bark. A woodpecker drills again and again. She makes a small hole in the bark with her beak. Quick as a flash, her tongue darts into the gap to grab a tasty insect. This hole hasn't been made by a woodpecker. It's much too big. Can you see who lives in this den? Hmm, I wonder who could live in that big hole in the tree. Let's find out together. Oh, it looks like a sleeping squirrel. Shh, a squirrel is sleeping on a bed of dried grass and leaves. His long tail is curled tightly by him to keep him warm. The leaf is shaking. There's something on the other side enjoying a meal. Can you see who's eating the leaf? Who do you think it could be? That's probably who it is. And you were right. Look, it's a caterpillar. Oh, he's so hungry. Munch, munch. A furry caterpillar is eating and eating and eating. It eats so much because it needs food to help it become a beautiful butterfly. Large, juicy red apples grow on the tree. These are the tree's fruits. What's inside the apple? Hmm, what could be in this apple? Do you know what's inside the apple? Oh, it's seeds. Wow, it's the apple core. Crunch. The apple is very tasty, but the small, hard pieces inside don't taste as nice. These are the apple tree's seeds, and they aren't supposed to be eaten. Ripe apples have fallen from the tree. Can you see what happens to apple seeds that drop on the ground? Look at that. Look at the apple seeds fall on the ground. I wonder what happens after they fall on the ground. Oh, wow. Look, they sprout up into a plant. Below the soil, an apple seed has split and grown roots. The roots reach down to gather food and water. A shoot pushes up through the seed and up through the soil. Above the soil, a green shoot grows up and up towards the sun. In time, it will become a tall, strong tree with a small world all of its own. There's more. When you find a tree, look all around it and see who you can find. Remember to look up as well as down. In the soil, 
Under the grassy surface, earthworms push and pull muscles along their bodies to move through the soil. The tunnels the worms make help water to reach plant roots. Damp and dark. Be careful when kicking leaves because toads might be resting there during the day. At night, toads hop around the trees using their long, sticky tongues to catch their food. In the cracks. Lizards leave their hiding places under stones or logs to bask, sunbathe. They are cold-blooded animals, so they cannot make their own heat. They need the sun to warm them. Burrowers. Rabbits live together in burrows under the ground. They come to the surface in the early morning and evening to look for green plants, such as grass and clover and tree bark to eat. Hidden colors. Moths and butterflies hide on trees, stones, and plants when they're not flying. Their folded wings cover their bright colors, and this helps to hide them from animals that want to eat them. Web spinners. Spiders spin webs using sticky silk made inside their bodies. Spiders sit by the side of the web until an insect gets stuck in it. Then they rush out, wrap the animal in silk, and eat it. Up high. Nests in tree hollows or on branches can be made using twigs, grass, mud, and moss. All birds hatch from eggs. Birds that live in trees eat slugs, snails, caterpillars, and other insects and fruits. Buzzing. Honeybees build a nest for their queen, so she has a home for all her young. The bees work together to keep the nest clean, protect it, and to make enough honey to feed all the bees. Cozy Den. Tree hollows, forks of branches, or old bird's nests can be squirrel dens. Squirrels line their dens with moss, dry grass, and feathers, and they sleep curled up together in winter for warmth. And that's it. Book all done. Wow, that was so cool. What an awesome story. We learned so much and in such a unique way. I really love these Shine the Light books, don't you? I really like guessing what's going to be on the other page. What was your favorite part about this book? Oh, okay. I wouldn't have guessed that. I love that part too. My favorite part? Oh, that's a really tough one. I think it would have to be the one with the little worms wiggling around, and I really enjoyed that fact. I didn't know that worms help to get water to the tree roots by creating little holes deep down in the soil. That was a really cool fact to know. Well, I hope that you guys had a really great time reading this book with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hi parents. If your little one loves my videos, then please be sure to click the big red subscribe button so you can be notified when I have a brand new video. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.